Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement a scroll view. So instead of jamming everything into one small view controller, I can show you how you can make that view controller larger by giving you, you by giving the user the opportunity to scroll and thereby you can fit more objects on one view controller and it's an awesome way to let the user interact with your app. So if that is something you want to know how to implement, then just keep on watching this video right here, right now. So let's create a new Xcode project. I am going to make a single view application and I'm going to call it scroll view demo. And then I'm going to save it on my desktop, put it in full screen. And then we are going to head over to main.storyboard where most of the fun is going to happen. Now I'm going to show you how I create a scroll view. I don't know if it's the best method out there, but it definitely has worked for me so far. So um, I can say that for me it has worked and I think um, it is a pretty sound way of doing it. So first of all, I drag in a scroll view and I just align it here in the view controller. Just leave some room for the status bar and then I set zero points to the borders and I add a constraints and then I add a view. Now you just search for view and then you scroll all the way down and then you will find this one right here. Just a completely normal view and you do exactly the same as you did with your scroll view. You align it nicely, place some constraints only here you also set the height and I'm going to set it to a thousand but of course you are going to set it to whatever you need or whatever space you need maybe that's even 2000, 3000, 1200 you decide and then just add a constraints and as you can see there's some red there some funkiness there but that will clear out just click this one and then select your view and then control drag over to your view right there and then click equal widths. Then you select your view controller, just like this. You head over to this one, and then instead of saying it uh, should be a fixed size, say to it that it's going to be a free form, and then set the height that you defined your view to be. So I gave it 1000 in height, so I'm going to give that to my view controller as well. And here, is the space that you now have at your disposal. So instead of just being this one, this will be the space that you can scroll around in. Now I'm going to drag in a button just to show you that this actually works. So I'm going to have a button down here. And this one is going to say world. And then you can guess what the top button is going to say. Well, this button up here is going to say hello. So when I click this button, it should print hello. And well, when I click this one, it should say word. And then I'm going to play some constraints. So I'm going to say that it can keep its width and its height, this distance right there. And I'm also going to do that on the top button. So this one and keep width and height. And then I'm going to select both of the buttons and align them horizontally in container. And that should do the trick. Yeah, it's at least going to do the trick for this video right here. And then we are going to connect them to our view controller file. So just bring that up and I'm going to drag in the first button. Oh, it's the red, nasty red, not the right constraints. You will probably have more luck with yours. I'm just going to say hello. It's going to be an action, connect. And this one is going to print, print hello. And then my other button, this down here, drag it in. And this one is also going to be an action. And it's going to be the world button. And it is going to print, see, print world, just like that. So let's launch the app and see what we've got. So this is how our app is looking. As you can see, I wasn't too successful with my constraints. But let's scroll down and here we go. Here we have both buttons. And I'm just going to press this one, hello, and it should have printed hello, which it has. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on world 
and it displays your world. So this is how you implement the scroll view, a pretty good strategy if you ask me. And it's very visual because you can see what space you have and then you can just align your objects like you normally would, only now you have more space and you have a scroll view. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for future videos. Thank you for watching.